So we were really hoping to fall in love with this my buddy, this little heater. We were gonna throw it in the teardrop, we were going to use it in the scamp on the boat, but... Hey everyone, on this episode of Playing With Sticks, we're gonna be highlighting the Little Buddy Heater. As you know, we typically take out our teardrop or a scamp trailer or go up the rivers in our small boat, trying to do things a little smaller, a little differently than everyone around us. We really were excited about this Little Buddy Heater. I think it's something you should be excited about, but spoiler alert, there's gonna be more cons today than pros when it comes to this Little Buddy Heater, so stick around. We made it. So you just camp anywhere along here soon. Okay, so this must be a loop road out. How do right? we choose? Oh nope, it's a spot. <gasps> Let's take this one. You like it? Yeah. You sure? I think so. It seems pretty perfect, doesn't it? Yeah. Mama's chilly too. Burr. 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 So you can tell from these first videos, when we got out to the campsite, it was cold. When it's this cold out here, you need a heater. These teardrops are so small, they heat up in no time. These little buddy heaters are perfect for getting that kind of job done. And take your cereal into your tent? Yes, we are. Yeah. Ah. Ah. Go! Don't touch it. You can go hover over, but you can't touch the coil. See how mama's not touching it? I'm just warming my hands here. Check out that view. I should not be doing these reviews late at night. I am so tired. So this is it. This is the Little Buddy Heater. I think the best pro for us of this Little Buddy Heater is that it warms up really quick. So you lighter, the coils warm up. The next thing you know, your tiny little space in your scamp or teardrop is up to the temperature you need. For us, we plug in our electric blanket and that usually gets us through the rest of the night. If it does get a little cold, early winter camping, fire this up a couple times in the night, takes a few seconds, turn it off and you're good to go. So the pro of this little guy is that it's little. The Little Buddy Heater is small, it's portable, you can take this anywhere easily. It fits wherever you need it to fit. If you have extra space and you have a little larger camper like a Scamp or a Casita, I think this would work great in comparison to a Teardrop because you'd have more solid places to set it down. This little buddy has a built-in oxygen sensor and that gives you a great peace of mind when using it in an enclosed space. Obviously, you're all going to put down your windows, vent your tops just in case, but it is nice to know you have a little bit of a backup. If the oxygen does get low, there is something built in here to turn this unit off. We've been using this for about a year, and I think we can define it as durable. One year of throwing it around, we don't really respect it that well, and it pretty much looks brand new. So for us, why we wanted this, we wanted something small, something easy to carry around. We didn't need two cylinders of propane because we're just trying to get the heat up in the teardrop. But the issue we find is that it's awkward. So let's talk about the number one con of this thing. See this angle? This is the only angle this comes in. So it's always below you pointed up. 
but that's not really useful, especially for us, like with a family, we have a little two year old running around. If we sat this on the ground, he'd be right up there putting his hands in it. So you wanna bring it up to a higher point. Well, you bring it up to a higher point and now the hot air is going above your head. And you'd think there'd be some sort of swivel on this, but there's not to adjust the angle. And I think they probably do that. So you have to buy the other Mr. Buddy heater, which is great. And I would definitely suggest. So you plug in the propane. There's a base that kind of pushes on. It's kind of hard to get on. This base, I'm just gonna keep taking it off because it falls off all the time. So this base right here, as you can see, it's not very wide. And wherever you set it, it's not the most stable of bases. If you set it down somewhere, it easily falls over or shifts. If we move it just a little bit to adjust it, oftentimes the sensor is so sensitive it will turn off the heat and we don't even know it till it starts getting cold again. We also picked this up hoping it would work the same way the larger heater works in our boat, our little inflatable, and it doesn't work that way. Putting this on a bench seat in the boat and trying to strap it down is really awkward. I don't know if you guys are doing something like that. If you have a way of doing this, of bungeeing it or whatever, let us know in the comments below. And if maybe we're using this thing wrong, let us know too, but truly it's just awkward. <laughs> but we used it, we used it a lot, it works. You just gotta be careful with it. When we're in the teardrop, we just hold it, turn it on, let it do its thing. I see a lot of other teardroppers use it. Cosmo Weems, awesome teardrop guy out there with a lot of videos. He uses this in his little teardrop and it seems to do fine. I would still suggest it for people, but it is difficult. I would probably use the larger square version if I had the choice. Let's get our toothbrush. What you, what you doing? <laughs> so this is our blueberry picking haven for the weekend. Look at it, it's all ours. Look at this place. Look at this place. Oh. oh, oh wait, it's not all ours. There's an RV, look. It's all ours and his. Ready to go to bed? We are you look so tired. <laughs> <laughs> are you ready for bed? <sighs> yes, yes you are, I can tell. <laughs> This is it. We made it to the blueberry picking spot. Uh, it's blueberries and cloudberries and crowberries and every type of berry you can imagine. So I'm about to head to bed. The midnight sun is not so much here anymore. I think it's like around 10 30 or 11 and it, the sun's getting close to going down falls on its way we even saw our breath earlier today so temperatures dropping So waking up in a campsite like this, you cannot get a more open vista, a more better view, a great way to just sit there, sip your coffee, and plan the day ahead of you. the back side of that mountain over there with that tower has the best berries and that's where we're headed. We have this mystery noise we can't figure out where it's coming from. Well, our car is making all sorts of noises. We don't know why it's doing that. 
So what's going on, Drew? <laughs> no idea. We think East threw a rock in between the brake and I don't know. But we saw him throwing rocks in our tailpipe, throwing rocks in wheels. There's some major friction going on. Sounds like metal on metal. Well, we asked for adventure, we sure got one. First uh, real adventure in a while. She's been looking for a reason, and I think she'll find it in my mind. So we're moving. Look, I see two pinkies over here. And we're staying away from the crowd. Are you eating my berries? Hey guys, so I hope you enjoyed that. We're gonna show you some more episodes in the future with our electric heater. So if you guys are using any other means of heating, let us know in the comments below. If you have a better way of using these My Buddy heaters, also put that in the comments too. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. We post new videos every two weeks. We're excited to put another one out soon. Take care guys, and we'll see you all around the corner.